Welcome to Daily Devotions with Cram and Kirk on Monday the 26th of October. I am Leslie Pendrith and I'm leading the devotions today on the theme Do Not Cheat. Before I begin, I should like to pay tribute to our minister Russell Barr and his wife Margaret. Russell has been our minister for over 27 years and preached his last sermon as our minister yesterday before retiring at the end of this week. They have both been outstanding servants to our Kirk and the community and I'm sure you will join me in wishing them a long, happy and healthy retirement. If you're interested, you can watch the video of yesterday's service on both Facebook and the Kirk website. The Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Let us pray. Creator God, may your light shine on us now, your truth inspire our words, and your love reach out through our service to others. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's now listen to God's Word. The reading today is taken from the New Testament, Mark's Gospel, chapter 10, and reading from verse 17 to 27. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him, and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. Thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Defraud not. Honour thy mother and thy father. And he answered and said, Master, all these have I observed from youth. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, take up thy cross, and follow me. And he was sad at that saying, and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked round about and said unto his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said unto them, Children, how hard is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God? It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they were astonished out of measure, saying amongst themselves, Who then can be saved? And Jesus, looking upon them, said, With men it is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. Thanks be to God. The reading focuses on New Testament attitudes to wealth and riches in the context of what it means to be a community of people who, like it or not, have to live together on this one planet called Earth. How do we live in a world where there is enough for everyone, but because of inequality, many have to go without? Today's reading is often called the story of the rich young ruler who comes to Jesus looking for an answer to his question about eternal life. Jesus tells a young man to keep the commandments and focuses on the six ethical commands. But read closely and see that Jesus replaced do not desire another man's house with do not cheat, or more accurately, defraud, showing that Jesus is more concerned with where this rich young man's wealth comes from than his claims to be good. In Jesus' day, land was frequently accumulated by the wealthy 
through smallholder farms defaulting on their debts. Jesus does not invite the young man to use his wealth more compassionately or try harder to be good. The way for him to become a disciple is by giving up his wealth. And he went away sad because he had great wealth. Jesus, give us the strength to give away all that stops us being your disciples and following you today. Let us pray. Loving God, we give thanks for your goodness to us, known and unknown, for the world with its beauty and mystery, for our lives with their promise and past, for our loved ones and friends. Above all, we give thanks for Christ Jesus, for his love for the outcast and stranger, for his death on the cross and his resurrection, for the gift of his spirit. May we continue to show our gratitude in the way we live our lives today. We pray for the world, strengthened by your spirit, all who work for the good of others through education, relief agencies and governments. We pray for our country and for those in authority and those with influence that working for the common good, they may serve us with wisdom, integrity and compassion. We pray for those who sorrow, those who are in trouble, for those who suffer cruelty, injustice or neglect. In their despair, find hope through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom we pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. <laughs>